What did I say? The Quran claims, Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Mr. Hijab was ready for this, so he proceeded to smash my mistranslation. He says, Allah says, uh, that Allah yusalli ala nabi and he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. This, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. According to Mr. Hijab, what did I say? And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. What did I actually say multiple times? Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. What's the correct translation? And that's why the translators put for not to the Prophet. Muhammad Hijab, what an embarrassing career ending statement. Mr. Muhammad Hijab, I advise you to never ever again debate in your life. Your career has ended, my friend. Don't debate with people like David Wood. Don't ever debate on Speaker's Corner in London because your career is over. To make it even more worse, guys, this guy even lied about the Arabic because it does not say for according to the Arabic because the Quran says the following Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala an nabi again ala an nabi that means on the Prophet not for and not to if Muhammad Hijab claims to be an expert as an Arab speaker, he clearly embarrassed himself more than that. It's not for, it's not to, it's on the Prophet. I don't uh, blame David Wood for not knowing Arabic, but this Mr. Hijab guy, he's an Egyptian. He should not have used taqiyya. And a, basically he's agreeing with David Wood on the for the prophet part it's not to it's not for it's on the prophet so not did he bust himself and his fake prophet he busted himself on in the english and he busted himself on the arabic so let us go to the quran to prove to you that four and two are both wrong so if we go to quran chapter 33 ayah 56 we can read the following inna allah wa malaikatahu Yusalluna ala and Nabi. Yusalluna pray on the Prophet. It does not mean to ala means on the Prophet. It does not mean for the Prophet. It means on the Prophet. On the Prophet. So we know that Muhammad Hijab, he lied about the English and he also lied about the Arabic. It does not mean for, it means on the Prophet. So Muhammad Hijab never ever again debate because your career in debating is over. Shame on you for lying about the Quran of Allah so after the debate between Muhammad Hijab and David Wood this guy went to Africa for some time he went to Ghana if I'm not mistaken then he came back to London again and on speaker's corner Muhammad Hijab said no I meant praising not praying Allah praises Muhammad so let us see how Muhammad Hijab again is lying about his own false God, the moon God, Muhammad, his God, Allah. Let us go and show you that Muhammad Hijab 
has no clue about Islam is a hypocrite, lying, deceiving Muslim. So if we go to chapter 1, Al-Fatiha, ayah 2, it says, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All the praises and thanks be to Allah. To who are the praises? To Allah, not to Muhammad. So Mr. Muhammad Hijab, again, for the second time you have lied, it does not mean praising or praises. Because only Allah is worthy in Islam to be praised. Are you telling us that Muhammad at the same time is Allah and equal to Allah? So guys, we can conclude Muhammad Hijab, he lied about the word praying and he also lied about the word praising. Muhammad Hijab, you have been busted.